Yo, what's going on guys, it's Phantom here. Today, I am going to be showing you guys the best screen recorder for Android 5.0 and down, not 5.0, like 4.0 and above, essentially. Now, there's a few different recorders that you can use for this purpose. For this video, I'm going to be showing you guys ADV Recorder, right here, AZ Recorder, and Mobizen, which is for Android 4.0. So, it's essentially... 5.0 and below these can be used Mobizen below 5.0 and above the other two and Mobizen. So the first one I'm going to be showing you guys is Mobizen. It's a very good screen recorder and there's as you see when you click on this button these will come up to change the settings you're going to want to click right there on that button and if it doesn't automatically come up it will be like this and you will have to drag your screen down and as you can see it will pop up at the top. So first off, they have the video settings. You can change these to whatever you want and whatever works best, preferably 480p and above for recordings that you're going to be posting on YouTube. That is fairly high quality video. And the quality, it depends on how fast your phone is. I prefer to use 12 megabytes. 8 megabytes could work too. 5 would just be there. 4 would be okay as it shows. And anything below that wouldn't quite be preferred. Now with the frame rates, they have an automatic frame rate, probably 30 FPS or so, and they have all the good frame rates here. Preferably 30 to 60 FPS looks good on YouTube, it's what a lot of YouTubers use. Less than 30 looks a little bit slow, 25 could be fine, but 2015 is a little bit choppy. So then, I'm not sure what clean recording mode really does, but this is my favorite part of this recorder, the sound. They have an external and an internal audio, so they have a front facing camera on here, so you can like see yourself yeah see there's my monitor there but yeah that's how it goes now they used to have an option where you would have to use the water watermark when recording and there was videos to help remove but now you can have it just removed and it doesn't show up at all now there is a countdown option you can have it disabled countdown however long you want to help get ready for your recording they have a touch gesture which will show when you touch the screen where you're moving now this tells the time, the recording time, obviously, and you can change it to where it is because when you click on this, it will show up inside of that um, like bubble right at the top, and it will show you how long you have been recording for. And that's about it. You can set your storage path to whatever you use. I am using my external storage, so I have actually enough space for it. Now the next recorder we're looking at is ADV Screen Recorder. You can click these three little dots and come to the settings button. They have the countdown option too here, but it's only three seconds. You can't really have it any different. They have the magic button too, which goes in the top right corner, tells you how long you've been recording. So it's a lot easier to control how long you've been recording and such. They have the advanced engine and a default. Advanced obviously supports pause and default's just the normal engine. Now this actually has multiple ways that you can control your recording. You can stop by a notification when you drag down here. You can click stop recording or you can have it by when you turn off your screen it will stop recording automatically. Now we come to the video settings option. You can use screen resolution. You can use 1080p. I prefer 1080p depending on how big your screen resolution is. I would just click use screen resolution in case you don't know. Now for video bitrate you could use automatic 15 megabytes per second high quality. I would recommend using f like 4 to 6 and above. That's probably a good starting point to start. 60 frame rates, as I said in the other recorder, is very good. This has an option for video orientation. You can have it so it changes by the way you move your screen. So say a game is sideways, it will be sideways. But if you have it just on landscape or portrait, it will just keep it straight up or sideways. Now, one of the downfalls of this and AZ recorder is you can only record your microphone without rooting it, so you can only record microphone. There's also a camera option, as said in Mobile Zen's 1 2. Now, there is a logo and text overlay. Very cool. So, you can have your logo overlay, like you could have YT or whatever your name is in the bottom corner or that. So, that's always pretty good. Alrighty, guys, so you can see I had to switch recorders using the magic button now on ADV recorder so I could actually record AZ recorder's video. So the encoder default more stable obviously. I'm not sure what fixed screen screen is. It could be something with camera or something. I don't know though. There's a magic button like the other two there was. And here's the stop option. There's a lot more stop options. Stop by notification by single tap on the dot. 
t turning the screen off, shaking the device, or having a time limit that it automatically stops recording. Now same as this, there's the resolution. You can actually set a custom one. That's one of the upsides of this recorder. Frame rates similar to the other ones, but they only have a 12 bit rate. They don't have 15 megabytes per second, unfortunately. Now there's the similar settings to the other recorder, the auto, auto landscape and portrait mode. Very simple, very straightforward. Time lapse mode. This is pretty awesome. Say you're doing a speed build in like Minecraft or you're playing Clash of Clans, a base build. You want to speed it up without having to edit it. You could just click on this and it will automatically speed up the video you're recording. Now you can only record microphone too. And there's a logo feedback camera. And there's actually more camera settings on here. You could change the camera. Oh, opacity of it. A lot of different settings I haven't really messed around with because I haven't been using the camera. Now there is a countdown before start and you can actually show the time you've been recording where you want to show it to. So that is about it guys. Hope you enjoyed this video and it helped you so please like, comment, subscribe, tell me what you guys thought about it. And hope you helped you if it did slap the like button. Let's see if we can get to 15 likes and have a great day. Bye.